This is question number 25 for the ACT math exam we're working through, and this one is a little bit different from what we've seen before. The information we have above the question actually is uh, designed to go th with three questions. 25 is the first question, and the way it's going to work is we're going to have one, two, and three questions, right? And the first question will be question 25, and this one will be relatively easy. Then the next uh, one will be medium, and then the third one will be hard. This is relative to each other, okay? So this question, question 25, will be the easiest one, okay? So let's read the introductory material, and then let's read the question. Belinda is designing a garden. She will build two walls as indicated below. The length of the sides of the square wall will be 23 feet. The square wall will abut the rectangular wall. Number 25. The square wall will be 24 inches tall. Our local hardware store sells bags of topsoil containing four cubic feet each. What is the minimum number of bags of topsoil Belinda must purchase to fill the area of the square wall to the top of its walls? Okay, so they're they're saying here we've got this uh, we've got this uh, square wall here. I'll just kind of draw this in here, and we know the measurements of its sides, and we also know that it abuts this rectangular wall, let's say it's higher, I don't know, but let's say it's higher. Uh, here, let me draw that so it's at the bottom. So this rectangular wall, uh, you know, run, the square wall runs into it. it, it abuts it, right? And then what Belinda wants to do is fill this area with dirt, right? And she, or the problem, gave us the measurement of the height, right? So the height of the walls is 24 inches or 2 feet. And then each of the sides is 23 feet, right? Because the square, they have equal sides. Okay, so we need to know the volume of, the, of what the square walls encloses so that we know how many bags of uh, topsoil to purchase because they come in four cubic feet each. So easy enough to find the volume, right? It's just length times width times height. So our length is 23 our width is 23 and our height is 2 so let's just do that in the calculator we have 23 times 23 times 2 and that equals 1058 okay 1058 all right and they should have put that as an answer choice that would have fooled, fooled some people right but not us because we know that they're not asking for the volume of the area the, the volume that the square walls enclose they're asking for how many bags of topsoil should we buy all right, so this is 1,058 cubic feet, right? And we know that because length times width times height gives us volume, and volume is always in uh, you know some sort of you know cubic measure, and we know that we were given our measurements in feet, so it's cubic feet. Okay, fine. So what do we do with the 1,058? Well, we just divide it by four to figure out how many bags of uh, topsoil we need, because we know that the bags have four cubic feet each. All right, so we get the answer. Uh, if we divide this by four, then we get 264.5. Uh, this is bags, by the way. Now, I always keep track of units. Okay, now you can't buy half a bag, right? You can only buy bags of topsoil. If you've ever been to a hardware store, you can't buy half a bag, right? And they didn't say anything about half bags in the problem. So the minimum number we need to buy is a 264 plus. We'll have to buy another bag to cover that half bag that's left there. So We'll have to, you know, we'll in the end have half a bag left over after we fill the square walls, the square walled enclosure to the top, right? So our answer is 265.